So what's going on? It's your boy Garrett Jet Gaming here, and I'm going to be making this video in response to the European Canadian and his ideas about how to replace the King Tiger 105 and the Panther 2. Now, this is a critical response to the European Canadians video, and honestly, before everyone jumps to conclusions, I titled this as a response because I didn't want to repeat his points, most of which I agree with. Um, not all response videos have to be negative, okay? Let's, let's get that shit out of the fucking way. So, like... First of all, I agree somewhat with the removal of these paper tanks, even though I love the Panther 2 to bits, have had this expanded for years now. King Tiger, I had to actually go out and grind, that's how much I, I didn't have it, didn't really, played it a bit and just went, this is just dog shit. I know many of you out there have probably aced this thing many years ago, it, look, these two vehicles have been in the game as long as I can remember. And like, back in the day... Germany didn't have a mouse or a leopard one, so you had these to fight the early T-54s and like the M48s and stuff, so that was the way the game was. They've served their purpose and now guys are looking to remove them. I question though, if they're going to remove the paper tanks, can we also piss off the home room production and the R2-Y2? I'm so sick of seeing them in the game. I'd get rid of them. I'd I, I hate the R2-Y2 so much. But personal biases aside, um, Gaijin did say that the capabilities lost by these vehicles would be made up for with new vehicles. The loss of the Panzerkampfwagen-Zex, Ausführung B mit 10.5cm Kampfwagen-Kanone, Latin Zexisch, okay fuck that, the King Tiger 105mm and the Panther 2 is an interesting one. As the Panther 2 is far more effective, but it's kind of easily replaced. However, a small problem comes when replacing the King Tiger 105. I wholly agree that one of the Leopard prototypes should replace the Panther II. In my World of Tanks days, uh, shudder to mention the name, the Leopard prototype did come before the Leo one. However, the European Canadian proposes an interesting change with the introduction of a light tank instead of another contemporary heavy. It's easy to see why, as Gaijin is removing the King Tiger 105 for being a paper tank. There is zero chance of adding another heavy tank or replacing it. There is no production vehicle that was made between the King Tiger or the Mouse or E100. Like, some people, like one person even mentioned the Lerva, and I was like, you've got to understand, the King Tiger 105 isn't just being removed because it's not unique, it's being removed because it's a paper tank, and the Lerva has zero basis in reality, just as much as the uh, King Tiger 105 or this Panther 2. The, re the real Panther 2 has improved side armor. That's about it. That's all the Panther 2 project really was, to improve the side armor. But they ended up putting uh, side skirts on there instead, and that's what solved the problem. So, yeah. So, basically, the solution he presents is sound. Introduce a light tank, since Germany has a lack of light tanks. His solution is the uh, Sparpanzer 1C, or the SP-1C. Basically, a light tank equipped with a 90mm gun, likely using APCR and heat ammunition. The only issue I see with this vehicle is that it would have to... Okay, so, if you're going to do a like-for-like -like replacement, so you have the Panther series, then a Leopard prototype, then the Leopard 1, and then you'd have the King Tigers, so all the Tigers, final King Tiger, the H, then you put the light tank, and then the mouse. If you were going to do that, that that um, light tank would have to be a 6.7 or a 7.0. Here's the problem I see with that. The Sparpanzer 1C is to me a worse vehicle compared to the RU251. I don't see it, like, so if you don't see the problem with that. Okay, so essentially you'd have to either bring up the BR on the RU251 and even then you've got a choice between shell out and buy the better version or have the inferior model but it's you know pay to win or so free to play what am I saying or you could do it differently where you've got the light tank coming in after the Panthers have the leopard prototype and then have the leopard one 
and then you can just have a, a straight cut between the pan uh, so the tiger 2h and the mouse i think that would work as well and to me that's the way you'd have to do the tree because germany has two tank destroyer lines and i don't really think you can put the light tank in with the light tank destroyers because the brs are just too weird plus having a vehicle like the Sparpans that come before the Jagdpanzer 4 Fund, it would it would just be too stupid. I, I don't think that would work. I think the Jagdpanzer 4-5 needs to have the 6-7 BR and the RU-251 to have the 7-0 BR because, you know, it's insane. Um, so the other solutions that I was sort of thinking of that you could do would be to do... Um, Keep the Spar Panzer, okay? I understand that he is a fan of the vehicle. Some other people might be a fan of the vehicle. Honestly, the more light tanks we have, the better. But this is where this comes from. If you wanted to introduce more light tanks, introduce the German M41A1 Walker Bulldog. So the Germans actually trialed the M41 Walker Bulldog, and some are still sitting in museums in Germany to this day. I believe that this would serve excellently at 6.0, and you can put this vehicle... Um, you could either put it in front of the Panthers, or you could put it before the Jagdpanzer 4-5 or whatever it's called, and um, after the giant cannon, the uh, Stuer Mill, I think it's called, yeah. And then that would kind of work, and you know, you've got more light tanks for Germany. Even though it is a M41 Walker Bulldog, that doesn't really seem to be a problem when you've got the M47 Patton 2s fighting the Americans. Of course, no one actually plays the M47 on the US side, so honestly, you associate that tank as German. <laughs> on a, like, You see more German players playing that premium than you do actual US players playing the M47 pattern, so yeah. But this is the one that I thought of that would be really unconventional, but also kind of cool to me. The King Tiger 105, its purpose is like a heavy fire support vehicle, so... In the current meta of the game, you'd sit up the back with it, or along corridors, and then you'd use its powerful gun, because this thing can't brawl, and it's got the same armor as the King Tiger, so you can't really use it for a heavy tank, like, as a heavy tank. So, to me, an interesting solution would be the Sturm Tiger. Now, I know many of you want this thing either as a premium, or a reward vehicle, or a gift vehicle, or in the main line, maybe before the Ag Tiger, but after the Elephant. Now, the way I see it, it would be interesting if the like replacement, like the like-for-like -like replacement was indeed another heavy vehicle, at least one based on a heavy tank. And then you've got, you know, the Sturm Tiger, heavy fire support vehicle sitting at 7.0. And I mean, honestly, I would happily take a Sturm Tiger over a King Tiger 105 because the Sturm Tiger fires 380 millimeter modified depth charges which are rocket propelled so the amount of explosive force this thing has i'm pretty sure you could just fire this hit the tank like hit two meters next to the tank and still ammo rack it and just completely blow it away this thing makes the kv2 and the fv4005 look like pea shooters in comparison to the sturm tiger so that would be another interesting you know, replacement, I feel like that would be cool. However, um, you know, the European Canadian has his own ideas, and, you know, I've got mine, so we'll see what happens. But I'm all for the replacement of these vehicles. I'm glad that I've already got mine, but I think it's time to see some more realistic, you know, aircraft and... What do I say aircraft? I think it's time to see more realistic tanks in the German tree. They... Now that we've got access to post-war vehicles, they should be able to flesh it out somewhat. Um, and besides, when it comes down to it, the Panther II is really the lost capability here that make like, that has to be replaced properly. Whereas with the King Tiger 105, you're not really losing um, capability. An analogy I always like to think of is when I was playing at lower tiers, I used to have a an IS-1, and when I was grinding for my IS-2, I would sometimes fight along. Um, I would fight alongside IS-2s in my IS-1, and w there would be situations where we'd have multiple enemies coming in on us at once, and the IS-2 can fire once, and then he has to wait 20 seconds to reload. Because my IS-1 has an 85mm gun, this thing can take on multiple targets far more effectively. 
I see the same thing with the King Tiger H and then the King Tiger 105. The King Tiger 105 has slightly better firepower, but you've got to reload the gun and it takes a lot longer. The regular King Tiger can punch out rounds at a much more consistent rate, and it can easily fight at the 7.0 range, albeit it struggles a bit more. So, I don't know, the actual King Tiger 105, it, it's a cool concept tank, and it was cool back in the day, but I feel like it's a bit dated now, so I'm glad I've got one, but, you know, we've got to move on, so yeah. Uh, make sure you let me know what you think about all the stuff down in the comments, and um, I'd also like to thank the European Canadian for making such great content on a consistent basis, and you know, it's really actually quite quality, unlike myself, where I have no quality and no consistency whatsoever. So yeah, um, make sure to go check him out. If you, for some reason, if you have seen my channel and you haven't seen his yet, which is insane to me, but yeah, regardless, go check him out if you haven't already. So yeah. Other than that, it has been your boy Garage Gaming. Um, Make sure to comment down below any thoughts that you've got on this video, what your ideas would be for changing the BRs and adding new vehicles, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.